And the Moskva River brings us to the Kremlin and Red Square, the colorful heart of this elusive city. See its towers and domes and spires through these British actors' eyes, who have brought Othello here as their thanks for the Bolshoi Ballet's London visit. If the Kremlin sounds frightening, it looks beautiful. And to the Russians, the focal point of it all is Lenin's mausoleum, where the old revolutionary's body is embalmed and guarded. The Red Army is on ceremonial duty and the crowds lap up the spectacle daily. But our actors have come to see not only guards on parade, but the Russian people themselves. How do they live, these mysterious human beings, once our wartime allies, but always an unknown quantity to us? Just cross the Red Square and step into Gum, their most famous department store, which is, in effect, a network of roofed-in shopping streets. Here's a life-size picture of people in a land so vast that it embraces both Siberian... Stand by the fountain here, they say, and in time you'll see people from every corner of the globe. Stand by the new fountains at Moscow's Economic Achievement Exhibition, and the chances are in time you'll meet everyone of perspicacity in the whole wide world. It isn't admiration that draws people to this square mile of pavilions, and there are 78 of them, landscaped some 40,000 trees. You read here the Russian claims as to their contribution to the world's culture. And you read, too, anomalies. The claims are authentic. The Russians certainly launched that Sputnik. But it's the contrasts that are fascinating and revealing. The simplicity you suddenly discover. The rate of growth and its unevenness. The truth. But here in Moscow you find contradictions. A mighty power built on simple people who have not yet got the quality of toys, trinkets and consumer goods that we know though they're doing better and better. Contrasts are obvious, and comparisons are much more misleading, because the standards we started with are so different. Here's where you see the contrasts. Clothes and consumer goods, substandard to Western eyes, yet things you must look up to. The Space Race Memorial. Russians have made headway in space, yet their main recreation park, in spite of its big wheel, is a depressing imitation of Denmark's Tivoli Gardens and even falls short of London's Battersea Park. This is a country that so often seems like yesterday, sometimes drab and sometimes dramatically beautiful. A country that sacrificed today for an ambitious tomorrow. For see how they're building. This was empty land eight years ago. They're hungry for accommodation. And they're putting up skyscraper hotels, apartments, universities, at a rate that soars. In a way, Moscow's like a new American town with wide, impersonal avenues. But the people seem bent like English jaywalkers on attempting suicide. Incidentally, just when you expect hard frost, Moscow has a thirsty heat wave. So buy yourself a curbside drink when you wash the glass. Contrast and contradictions, wonderful and inexpensive telephones, but no such thing as a telephone directory here. Telephone numbers are worth gold dust. What a place the Kremlin is for rubbernecks like our actors. Yes, we're in the Kremlin. It isn't private. It's Moscow's showplace with gold.